Hey and welcome back. <laughs> what a small but annoying group of UFO bloggers and some viewers have got bored with criticizing the personal appearance of people on YouTube who talk about UFOs. They ask a far more difficult question, and that is, is CERN opening up a demonic portal to a different dimension? <coughs> That's better. A physicist from CERN is answering that very question. Is CERN opening a gateway to hell? Blog by Matt Strassler. Is it possible that the particle physicists hard at work near Geneva, Switzerland at the laboratory known as CERN that hosts the Large Hadron Collider have opened a doorway or tunnel to another dimension? Could they be accessing a far-off planet orbiting two stars in a distant galaxy? Perhaps they have opened the doors of Europe to a fiery domain full of demons. Mortals and portals. Well, now if we're talking about a kind of tunnel that human beings and the like could move through, then there's a big obstacle in the way. The notion of a wormhole, a sort of tunnel in space and time, that might allow you to travel from one part of the universe to another without taking the most obvious route to get there, or perhaps to places for which there is no route at all, isn't itself entirely crazy. However, the concept comes with immensely daunting problems. At the heart of them all, there's a basic and fundamental problem. Bending and manipulating space isn't easy. The amount of energy required to bend space into a new shape is enormous. For example, if we want to get a rough idea of what it might take to make a wormhole, let's ask what it takes to make a black hole? A doorway-sized black hole would have the mass comparable to the planet Saturn. A hundred times larger than our whole planet. While CERN's electricity budget is big, you'll run through it in a big hurry. There's not that much energy on Earth, or even in Earth. Even if you magically converted the Earth's entire mass via E equals mc squared into energy, and funneled that energy into a small space all at the same time, you couldn't even make a black hole. But is there a secret approach? Sure! All we have to do is obtain a Saturn-sized planet, shrink it down to the size of a dinner table, or write a grant proposal. Or maybe ask Elon Musk to fund it. OK, you've got your black hole. You've got your funding. Elon Musk is on board. But there's no evidence that nature has ever made a wormhole that you can actually travel through. And it's not at all clear how humans could fit inside one. But just imagine they're really making one at CERN. A human-sized doorway to somewhere else would risk the entire planet's present and future. Okay, so CERN aren't working on this, but what they might be working on is micro-portals. But a micro-portal would be somewhat heavy. In fact, the whole of our planet would sink into it. And then there's a small problem of direction. Which direction would you go into a wormhole? Up? Down? Into it? Hmm. Actually, a wormhole 
exists in an unknown dimension. So I think it's highly unlikely that CERN is actually making portals to hell via a wormhole. But as you know, I like jumping down into a rabbit hole. 